All right, I'm recording now. If you're watching this back on YouTube, hello. Thanks for uh, tuning into the YouTube video. If you're watching the sh stream back, obviously. This is, um, this. Uh, I'm not going to zoom in on your name, but uh, Lilia. This is, she's joining me in the chat right now. Lilia Gaming. You can get on her uh, Twitch. Uh, but with Princess Peach at his side, Mario set out once again bound for adventure. This time our heroes were tasked with finding the mysterious charmer Merle. If Merlin was right and Merle was the key to finding the next pure heart. Huh? If Merlin was right, then Merle was the key to finding the next pure heart. Never one to flinch from danger, Mario set out to find Merle's mysterious mansion. But little did he know the evil works of the task of the Count Black End awaited at every turn. We'll turn it a bit down because it's loud. It's loud for me. Uh, but all right. As I was saying though, before interrupting with plot, oh, more plot first, hang on. Uh, the pure heart is somewhere up ahead. Yes, it must be, but could be a ways. Let's go. Certainly. Thanks for your help, Tippy. Yeah, I mean, there's enemies in 3D if you want to fight them, but... For now, there's nothing really. I've searched the game, really. I've, I've gone through the first couple areas. It is a great art style of it too. Yeah. Anyway, I was I was going around before. Um. Oh yeah, I forgot. There is something in 3D. I lied. I don't know. I'm just. I'm not thinking right now. Yep. This is pipe. Hmm? Um, you can't believe it? Well, better believe it, sister. I didn't know you could grab a dead enemy. That's fun. Oh, and Lilia, you can call me a, um... Pussy, if you want, you know, <laughs> you can call me a coward if you want, because I'm not doing it in uh, level three. I'm not doing it. <gasps> uh, what am I doing? Not that button. I want this one. We've seen Mario's, but we haven't seen Peach's yet. Little blip characters. That is a little blip thing. I don't remember the actual name of it, but it's the worst item in the game. It's the worst power-up thing you can grab, in my opinion, at least. I mean, obviously the coin flower is a close, you know, second. But, like, the coin flower, you at least get coins. This just gives you useless enemy killers. Because, you know... Mm. I mean, I usually end up with, there's eight in total, three in front of you, three behind you, and two in line with you. I usually end up with just the two in line with you. Oh yeah, if we go in here. There's this guy. Who, you know, you can flip, it's just him in this room. 
If you talk to him as Mario, there's two things I hate. Old dudes with mustaches and old dudes without mustaches. So take a hike, old dude. Go up the road to Murley's mansion, will you? All right, fine, I will. Oh, hot girl alert. Oh, oh we must we must have been fated to meet. Yes, oh, oh, you are my destiny. Please, go out with me. Auntie, <laughs> what a silly man you are. I'm very sorry, but I really must be somewhere. Uh, where, where, Merle's Mansion? I wouldn't go there if I were you. We get trapped there and bad things will happen. Trapped? Bad things? What are you talking about? Oh, my, oh, my, oh, my, oh my, I don't even want to remember it. Uh, but now that you're with me, you don't have to worry about all that, baby. You, because I am your fate, your destiny. Mm, no. Um, thanks for the info. If I don't come back, will you perhaps uh, try to save me? You know, like a certain mustachioed man used to do. Here, have one of my little, uh, 8-bit peaches. I think I have, like, what, that's three left? Mm. Bye, 8-bit peaches. There's nothing in that pipe, by the way. Oh, they're with me. Alright, and these blocks don't have anything, but you can do this. Break those two so that this will fall on you. And this happens. <clears throat> May your peach activate. Kill everything. Hey, level up. Didn't destroy every block, but anyway, there's nothing in 3D here, too, as well. Just head through the door. And, uh, it, this is a slow flower. You're extremely slow. I just wanted the triple thousand points. I mean, this is what a coin flower is. I think that little blip thing's worse than it, because at least this way you get coins. Uh, anyway, if we come up this way, this isn't, if, if you want to just keep going, you can, but you can't just, you barely just can't reach up there, but I don't know, you could have started on this side too, but I had that slow flower, and you hit this, and jump up here, and get some coins, free coins! You use them to buy stuff. And you head down this pipe though, what you're supposed to. And if you use Tippy, there's a block in here, but she says you can hit it anyway. So you use it and another pipe. Whoa. Well, and it's this thing. You see its eyeball goes in and it starts to replicate. You just I think all you have to do is kill eh. You kill all of them apparently. I thought you just had to kill the original. And you get a chest. A giant chest. I don't want to open it though. I wanna keep self promoting myself because I can do it again now. I can keep doing it. And 
um, go to what is it r slash super paper mario and do it one last time uh, yeah I posted on the last thing again but hey couple of words wrong but I'm gonna the link and I'm not doing too much of that right now so sweet all right see so, yeah. and we get the one of the cringiest characters in the game boom boom you uh, good vibes the vibes set off my blow stuff up senses you like exploding sis pow I ain't sense real good blow up stuff vibes in 1500 years sis poo I check these vibes out like a little more crazy like scrack check it out just answer a couple of questions real quick slam okay spoon here we go spam you stay up wondering if anyone ever gives presents to Santa? Totally! For some reason, you clean your room before a test. Absolutely! Yahoo! When someone says, let's just be friends, you think, yeah, whatever. But no doubt! You don't really understand why I'm asking you all these questions. Through and through! You think shopping online is a wonderful and magical experience? All of my life! You once put on a shirt inside out but didn't bother reversing it before going out. Oh yeah, I remember that. You want to be sleeping when you're awake, but when you're tired you want to wake up. Exactly! You're getting real tired of these questions. You said it, not me. You got it, got it, got it, spoon! You got some tasty vibes, splam! My mind's made up now, spoon! You guys are worthy of my power. He just gave us the world's oldest vibe check. And his name is Boomer. We just got vibe checked by a Boomer, kids. The explosive pixel named Boomer became your friend. Use Boomer's powers to blow up foes and destroy blocks. You want to switch... You want to switch pixels, just go to the pixel menu and pick another one. Each second explodes into the next. Spammo bombs away. Spoon. Okay, Boomer. That's what he does. It's a bomb. You yeah, blow that up. And if you come back here, I mean, y y you can do this in 3D as well if you want. It's just a chest in here. But you can do this in 2D, and I'll really love that. I like that fact. You gotta watch it, card. Man, you gotta go back into 2D, into 3D, head through the door, and you can join in. Yep. Yeah. His name's Boomer, and so I gave him, like, a Boomer type voice, like that. Anyway, this, I uh, believe it's called a Jobus. I think this is the Jobus, at least. I know one of them is. You just hit the tail. Anyway, though. You can kill this. I remember seeing it. You can kill it if you want. Doesn't matter. Blow up these bricks. You can blow them all up if you want. There's nothing special behind them. And I believe it's entering... I know it's the other door to hit the switch, but if you enter this door, uh, 
I forgot what this thing's called, but you know, you just put a bomb in it and blow it up. And if you come down here, there's two rows of coins. Click the other one in 2D so that my timer doesn't even run out. And this is another one. We're going to kill it. And you come out this bottom door. If you go in this bottom door, you do go into that one. But, you know. And then if you come into this one, it's a completely different area. And blow this guy up. We can now actually kill them without, you know, hitting enemies. Hitting them with enemies. If you hit that. Hmm? That was un that was awfully rumbly. Something must have happened outside. We can come down here. Ignore that one in 3D. Oh, if you hit one, it blows it up straight away. Or you can wait for the timer to go out for Boomer. Like, and just leave him going. You heard him blow up over there. Ooh, that's Merle's mansion in the back. Ooh, beachy beach. It's Merle's mansion in the back, obviously. These characters inflict you with sleepiness. But yeah, this is the end of the chapter block. But there's a secret right here. I thought I hit it straight away. But there's some swoopers. And if you open the chest, this one, it's a super card. This is kind of embarrassing. I had no clue this was here until today. And this is Slurp. I believe Slurp. If we check it out, that's what that bomb carrying guy was. I'm not too sure about all the names. I think it's a Slurp. Yeah. Bombs give it a bad case of heartburn. This is a Slurp. It's that thing we fed a bomb to. And this is Swooper. I don't know, all the ones in this game have a weird name. But um, we just got what a watch it card. Anyway, just bounce back up to get out. And that's it for this area. Pudding power. Hello, pudding power. Are you just renamed someone who's been here before and renamed, or are you new? Either way, welcome. And, um, it slurps up bombs. What else would you call it? On the far side of the beast ridden swamp, Mario and co. found an imposing residence. This must be Merle's mansion, squealed Princess Peach with glee. If our friends could only find the pure hearts quickly, their quest here would end. But when, when has fate ever set Mario on such a simple path? Brimming with anticipation, our plucky heroes plunge into Merle's mansion. Oh, thank you. As you can see, we are very early on in the game. Um, I have beaten it, though, before. Multiple times. So, I know... I know relatively all the secrets. Like, if you come in here, there's a little block. Coin block, baby. At about, what, ten coins? I, haven't, I didn't count. That's something I didn't bother learning. But, um, if we look at this, it says... Believers, open the door. Non-believers, open it now! Mysterious Magical Merle. And flip back into it. Do this, and um, what you're supposed to do is come over here, hit this block. Oh, well, you're not supposed to. You can go straight in if you want, but um... I think I've... I've gotten close. As a kid, I got to, what, chapter... I got to, I beat the over there the last chapter or chapter seven and then i just didn't go fight count black i didn't go to into this castle you know beat the game and i later on come back and i've beaten it multiple times anyway if you come up onto the top of it there's a stopwatch and um i don't know you don't need to do mario you can or peach you can jump from mario but if you come down on the balcony, you open the chest. 
I did get all the treasure maps done consistently. Consistently as well, I've tried and gone back and collected, collected all the cards. I've only ever gotten about like 50 or so percent of the way through. And then, anyway, if you come through here, I didn't mean to get eaten by that, but yeah, this is what happens. I, I didn't mean for that to happen, I meant to go around it, but I guess I didn't. I've done, I've only ever done the flip side pit of trials once, and I've never done the flop side. Hello, Pro Light Hub. Um, I do not s thank you though for the follow a couple of days ago after my last stream. Oh my god, after I streamed this the first time, I was like, God, I just really want to play it again, but I'm tired, I gotta go to bed. And then after that, I was like, mm, gotta stream. After that, it's kind of off the hype, and then. When I streamed it last night, I'm like, I just want to play it again and again and again and again. And I, I copied my playthrough and I started playing through it on my own. A copy of this file on my own all the way through. But this is me. Well, hi there. Big welcome. Welcome to Merle's Mansion. I'm Lady Merle's handmaid. My name's Mimi. But you can call me Mimi Kins if you want. You're here to see Lady Merle, aren't you? How super freeing you. Well, Lady Merle is on the second floor in the farthest room. Just head on up there whenever you're ready. And by golly, but listen, don't you dare go into any other rooms by accident or else. Enjoy your visit, okay? Yep. I know, it's so much fun. God, I love this game so much. It, it's my favorite Paper Mario game. One of my favorite games of all time. But anyway, let's do what she says. I, I do know what to do for records. So you do have to come in here. You do. And you're supposed to just go, huh? Huh? Nothing here. Weird little mechanic things. But oh, the lights are closing. What the hell? And what you're really supposed to do is head out and go back to talk to Mimi and be like, oh Aw, mm. Pro Light Hub, you gotta leave. I'm sorry, man. You have fun with wherever you go and do, man. Though. Come on. You're supposed to go leave and not come back in here. And not do this right now, but I love this game more than Thousand Year. I love Thousand Year Door 2. One of my favorite th games, too. One of my favorite Paper Marios. Uh, I'm going to say something a bit controversial here and say it's my like third favorite. It's my um third favorite Paper Mario game. A Thousand Year Door. Not after this one and Color Splash. Don't hate me for that one. I love Color Splash is my f my second favorite Paper Mario game after this one. But anyway, you're supposed to come up here. You're supposed to do this later, technically. But yeah, house key from early. I remember as a kid, it took me for ages to figure that out. We're gonna. Get this while we're here too, because why not? Coin. It's a good coin. I think you can just jump from the platform to the box, to the box where that coin is, to the key thing. But I took the safe path because I don't want to have to fall and do it again. Anyway, so after you get the key though, you can go into 3D and uh, unlock the door and everything. But I like. I like the rest of Mimi's dialogue here, so we're gonna do it the whole. We're gonna, we're gonna go into every single room. Basically, she sends you on a goose chase the whole time. But, hmm, Lady Merle wasn't in the farthest room on the second floor. Hmm, oh golly, what a big old messy poo I made of things. Lady Merle must be in the closest room on the second floor. Please try there. I just love going in the whole thing. Anyway, there's nothing else in the room besides this, so. I think Color Splash gets harshed on mainly because it's the game 
after um it was the game after sticker star it gets hated on by association i think people didn't really enough people didn't give it a chance i love playing through it i love playing through it i played through it a second time and beat it 100%ed it all the way through easily I did not I haven't beaten sticker star I'll admit that I haven't gotten all the way through it yet but like I can't play more than 10 minutes at a time of it I can't <laughs> Lady Merley wasn't in that room I directed you to oh gee wait a second silly silly mini kittens Lady Merley must be in the middle room on the second floor please try there I haven't um played all the way but I guess I haven't played all the way through it yet I haven't played all the way through the original Paper Mario either. Yeah, I just wanted to collect all the coins before it threw me into the pit. Damn it! Missed two of them. I thought I could get them all. Anyway, I'm not going to try and collect this too. Anyway, just... It'll go back down. You don't have enough time to do it both, but... You're supposed to boomer it. Oof. I have, um, I used, my TV used to not have an HDMI, but then I upgraded. For like 10 bucks, my, I, I got it, I got it for like 10 bucks from one of my mom's, um, teacher friends. Hmm? Betty Merlin wasn't the room I directed you to? Oh, you first me because you deserve a good spanking. Why must you be so silly? Lady Merlin must be in the closest room on the first floor. Yes, of course. Oh, please head in that and go all the way to the back. Obviously. All right, let's go. But no, I'm playing on my Wii U right now, actually. If you try jumping and advancing, it's just in there. But as you can see, there's a little bit of extra room. But we can't fit in this hole yet. So just keep going and it's a trap door. At some point, I just jumped over it. Hello, Jello sucker. I wonder who you might be. And, uh, I don't think this hurts them yet, no. Ah. Jump on them. Damn. I tried continuing it. But anyway, same, same problem. Ooh, big oof there. Can, can I get an F for um put in power 66's TV? Anyway, though. Ooh. Hang on, Mimi has one last bit of extra dialogue. I forgot it. I forgot about it, but. Boost, they just can't be invisible. They weren't invisible. Oh, you can't find Lady Marley? Gee whiz, that's a real head-scratcher, huh? I know Lady Marley is somewhere in the mansion. Look wherever you can. Hey, well, wherever I can. All right, let's try this door. I got that fancy key. Uh, by the way, this this guy, this his name's Gnaw. Eek! He goes straight for Marley. Or Mimi. Hmm? Um, I wonder why that savage thing went straight for her and paid us no mind. I'd like to think we'd look rather tasty. Uh, what do you suppose it means? The mention is quite odd. I can feel certain it holds many secrets. Anyway, just head through the door and, um... As you can quite see, there's nothing else. Hmm? Uh, it's Gnaw with a G. It's like Gnaw or Gnip. Anyway, we're about to be what can either be the longest chapter in video game history or the shortest one. Hang on. Mario and his friends kept up their search, delving even deeper into the mansion. Wherever they looked, wherever they looked though, they found no sign of Merle. Wherever was this mysterious woman? 
Ah, oh, maybe this way, so said Tippy, trying to sense the pure heart's location. With dread dangling through a like a broken chandelier, our heroes hurried through the corridors. I'm not doing it. I have decided I'm not gonna I will not be going into any room. I I even googled the code so that I would have it so that I didn't need to redo it. Ooh, hang on. That's a vase of some kind. It could have cost more than a hundred coins. Wow. Anyway, I was th the uh, walkthrough I got of this um game of this of the game I saw I read through for this chapter had this as the um thing ah cheap ass face. But watch this. Uh, broken. Get destroyed. We're playing some Legend of Zelda, baby. Yeah. You broke you broke my most favorite face. Doofuses! I love that face more than anything and you broke it. I will kill pay for that. Yes, you will. I'll have you know that that face cost one million rubies. So I know for the money now or you're done for. Rubies? I don't believe Mario carries any of that particular currency. I don't suppose they're anything like coins, are they? Coins? No one uses coins anymore, you peasants. I spit on your coins. So what are you saying? You're telling me you don't have any rupees at all? So well, guess what? You're just gonna have to work it off then. Until you work off your moment, you naughty little things. I own you! Enjoy labor! Yes, so you can earn rubies in the generator room on the top floor. Once you earn a million rubies, you can come pay it off in the room at the back. You can also check the balance of your debt there. So get to work, servants! Mario is now settled with a million ruby dead. Whoa! I don't have it memorized, but I have it like in 20 different places. My microphone is not drenched now. My throat's actually quite dry from doing Mimi's voice all the last section. Anyway, real quick, if you just hop over here. Um, I won't be going in any of these rooms. But what you're, um, this is, um, you have to get him for record. I tried skipping him, but. Cause I do. Wait, how did I do it? How, what was his voice? Do you hear something? Cause I do. It's kind of like O-Chunks. So do you know the secret part? Well, do you? If in your close your peepers and imagine real hard, that's the world gone. Why, it's just about the biggest darn thrill ever. What? My senses are telling me that you're the hero. Whoa. Hey, welcome, Pard. Got some bad news, though. Looks to me like you're a bit lacking in thrills. I can't give my power to anyone who's too skinny in the thrills department. So here's what we do, Pard. I'll recharge your thrill gauge over the next 10 seconds. You ready? Here goes. One... Two, three, five, four, seventeen, three point one four, one bar, ten. Now you're all charged of that bard. You put now you got your three hills. Now remember, we pixels got loads of power, so you'd best be careful with us. We had a little dust up with them ancients 2,000 years ago, but we're part of hell. So let's go have some thrills, huh? Come on. <clears throat> Fleep and Slip. Eh. I prefer, I prefer Fleep. Just because of the side quest, because of the quest you have to get him. Eh. You made the second account. Hang on, while you're on it though, while you're on it, like, uh, hit that follow button real quick, my guy. While while you're on it, just for the small joke, my man. Yeah, you can use Slim Slim's power to uh, turn sideways. Hell yes. You know your secret part playing hide and seek is the biggest thrill you can find. You ought to try it. But yeah, you can do this. 
Oh my god, Pearl Light Hub, you're back. It's 10 p.m. there? Oh, you're two hours ahead of me. It's only 8 for me. Or 8.43. Oh, that means you're only one then. But uh, if you go here and blow the swall up, you can um get a boot card. Hang on. I just didn't feel like blowing it up again, but you can. Anyway, uh, this is the generator room, if I remember correctly. This is the treadmill room. I just forgot the code. And this is another just free room. Anyway, come into here. Hit this block. 5963. I knew it had a 9 in there. Anyway, hit Slim. I'm not going into any room besides the ones I have to. That's the best cycle I've gotten for this, for the lasers. Oh yeah, if you flip, look at these things. Look at them. They're so cool in 3D. Anyway, um, let me pull it up real quick. I had, had it before, but it's... Four one two six two eight sixteen. Just imagine though, after I'm recording this video as well, and you'll see pop up in the corner Jello Sucker Follow. Anyway. That's how the game intended you to quickly do it, alright? You can hand make the million rubies for anyone wondering. Oh hi there, big welcome. So happy to have you here at Ruby Savings Alone. And um, this big tally at the top marks it. The block will appear in the here, in there. And you can totally earn a million without Slim. And you can save at any point and your ruby total will be saved. But anyway, first off, Thanks for taking out a special Ruby loan. Now, what can I do for you? You can uh, pay it off, check your balance, just drop it in for kicks, and say I love you. I love you. Uh, well, that's just super. You know what I love? Rubies. Go get me some slacker. First off, thanks for taking out a special Ruby loan. I'm just dropping it in for kicks. Huh, you don't need anything? Oh, well, golly, then how about you get lost right now and have work to do? Uh, this is my favorite chapter purely because I like fucking around in the rooms first. But anyway, just pay off some rubies and she'll take every single ruby you have right now. Don't do this if you want to do it the, the... If you don't want to do it the other way and like kind of like earn rubies and stuff, earn the million. You can... If you want to earn the million, you can get the code from someone in the... In the um, you pay someone 10,000 rubies, I think it is. It's like 10,000 or 100,000. And he'll give you the code to the special room. And then you're supposed to pay like... I think it's a hundred... It's ten thousand for the... It's a thousand for the code. And then ten thousand for the code to the safe. That's how you're supposed to do it. But... I, it, this is easier. Just find the code online. It's the same in every single game. Super, let me take all those rubies off your hand. And... Nothing. Well, thank you so much for paying off your ruby loan in full. Uh, 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 oh, 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 oh. How did you earn enough rubies to pay it off? That's not supposed to happen. No, you you, you broke my wonderful. Okay. I know. I love chapter five. I have to say though, chapter six is my favorite. Out of all of them, Chapter 6 is my favorite. Is that young imp put a curse in this mansion? Then? Huh, but who was she really? I'm worried about Merle. We better hurry to her aid. But yeah. You can earn the ruby, earn the million, and then unlock this without Slim. But the devs put these bars here. You have to go through with Slim. But if you hit, if you hit the block while Slim's activated, Mario's invisible.
Mm. You want to save your progress? I love chapter six purely because it it shows that not not everything works out. Not everything can work out for you. You have to go into the. You have to go into um, world six, into chapter six. Play through the first chapter. Play through like ten of the um sumo wrestlers, and then you fight Miss, and then the world ends. The mysterious handmaid Mimi disappeared in a bizarre explosion. What exactly was her plan, and why did she try and slay Mario and her friends? After the incident, Princess Peach noticed stairs going down. Here we go, she said. Here we go. If Merle, if Merle, I wonder if Merle is down here. Thought our heroes as they traded wondering, worried glances. The two solemnly made their way down, knowing there was no other path to follow. Hmm. I liked it though, cause you die, you, and then it's not just that area, it's that area, and then, oh, good night, by the way, uh, Gator, but you have that area, or the first twenty-five fights, then a big white area, or then the a mini boss, then a big white area, then. A mini boss and then you're sent to the underwear where you and then you're sent somewhere else and then you fix the pure heart it shows that you can't always win you won't always save the world sometimes you're too late the pure heart is near I feel it's tremor so much more strongly down here uh, hooray would be thanks for coming to look for me uh, Hooray would be thanks for coming to look for me Beautiful mysterious Merlin mistress of the house. It's me so glad it's you I see so long I've waited for you your arrival is well past due, but we can't meet like this Oh, no for something's amiss an evil one is after me and safe and sound. I cannot be in this basement do I dwell, maze-like rooms are all in my cell, you will find me, I can tell. And if you do take care, for your eyes may err, trust nothing foul or fair. No, I cannot laugh, my power is fading fast, the distance too vast. Are you ready to find me? Be, do I please? Sorry. <clears throat> hmm? Yeah. She's gone? Was that apparition really, Merle? Why do you suppose she was telling us to be so careful when we find her? It's also the only time in the game I really am going to... I am most likely going to... um Game over. I, none of the other parts I've ever really gamed over in. As in, a, at least growing up, you know, as a kid, I gamed over all over the place. Well, let's go in this first door, though. We gotta find Merle. But, um, anyway, after that, like, I didn't really do it anywhere. I didn't really die anywhere in else in the game. Besides that, besides there. Because I, I always go unprepared, and I always end up dying a whole lot. And for record, I always get lost in this section. Like, I hate Chapter Seven. I love, I love the thought of it, the story behind it. It's a great story. I love listening to it. I love going through it every single time, or like reading it through it every single time. But I hate playing through it. I hate, I hate it so much. Like, the underwear is like, oh, I already went through it. Eh. 
level two is fucking around the whole time. Level three is, um, level three is, hey, do you know where this thing is? No? <laughs> Fuck you then. Eh, you can hit those and transform it, but... Mm. Ah, yes, very nice. Thank you for coming. Thank you twice. <clears throat> oh, mysterious sense of lovely mistress of the house, you see. It's me, Merle. I shine on such as... I sign on such as my lot. A son to those fate to me brought. And I know that soon I'd see you buzz on by little bees. Hee 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 hee. Hello. We come seeking the pure heart. Oh, yes, of course, I know the pure heart from Mario and Co. For yes, for you, yes, I'll gladly part with that purest, my pure heart. Hmm, but there is a wee fee, yes, yes, ten million rupees. Quite a bargain, you agree? So, folks, if you be dear, sign this dotted line here, and it's yours, free and clear. Ah, uh, no. If you lack the rupees now, a smallish loan I could allow, you could work it off somehow. Just sign here, my dear. I probably couldn't earn 10 million rubies. I don't want to, though. Okay, here's what we'll do. If I can a deal for you, sign up for a loan and boom, a free gift. Away with gloom, a super mega ultra shroom. Just sign here, my dear. Uh, uh no. Fine, you bargain hard. I'll also throw in beard word, a pixel made of oats and lard. Bread word. Isn't that so nice of me? I'm the best, don't you see? Here, dear, sign and cheer. Mm. Idiots, the lot of you turning down such a coup. None of you, none of you have a clue. Here it is, your last shot. Sign right now on the dot. Uh, no. Good choice for my sake. This Merle is a total fake. This Nochi is a snake. <laughs> no point in trying to fool anyone now. <sighs> Gee, look at here. The girl you thought was a handmaid or, or Merle imposter. She's actually the faithful servant I can play. Master impersonator Mimi. Golly, I was hoping we could settle this peacefully, but too bad. Oh, you want, oh, you want to make things ugly? Huh? Well, that's super. Let's get ugly. True Mimi, come forth. <laughs> Oh my god, 7-3 seven is, seven is my least favorite stage. Yuck! Yuck! Please, my friends, beware. A berry protects her there. In fact, it's everywhere. I think it, I think attacks may well be useless against such as she. Attacks won't work, huh? What should we do? I suggest you flee. Come and find the real me. I am riding. Look and see. If you can, my magic may weaken her and win the day. Hurry, hurry. Don't delay. Huh? Oh, thank you for the following. Uh, putting power 66. You know, she, she's going to follow you around the mansion now. And I, it's stuttering. I, I thought I fixed it, honestly. Yeah, she's... As anytime you hear me, me, she's following you. But yeah, you can't hit her though. And I know, like, what Pro Light Hub and Pudding Power, y'all played this game before, but. I mean, it is saying I'm fine, but. I'm not going to voice her every single time. I have no clue. I do not remember anywhere what to go. But no, I'm I'm explaining the game as I'm going along. Uh, this looks like a place to go. I This is the one area of the game I don't have memorized just because I always fuck around in it. I always just jump around.
Aha, I found it. Damn it. I was shaking hard as I could. Alright, but let's uh, get these stairs. There's nothing back here, right? No? I feel like this is the way to go, though. Chapter 4. I, I, This is the way to go. I honestly hated Chapter 4. One of my least favorite chapters as well. Just because it's so... Yeah, but oh, well, I can't go in the women's room. I'm Mario. Ugh. Save her real quick. Hmm. Aha. What? Don't I hit there? There we go. But all my pixels are guys. Ah. I think she's in this one. Haha, <laughs> I got it right first try. He <laughs> found me, the real Merli. I shine on, such is my lot. A son to those fate to me brought. <coughs> now she got a fly flying around her. You, you, you're really the real Merli? And you were hiding in a place like this? I'm afraid that me, me freak was too robust, and I am too weak. The pure heart I quickly took and hid, and hid where she would never look. But now you're here, hooray, this bad time will turn today. Soon that awful Mimi pays. You and I can now join up to teach that tiny, bratty pup a lesson. Now let's power up. Oh, I don't think so. And a little bit of her ear is still on her tail. That's like that's why she's one of my favorite things. I know Carrie isn't a guy, but I... I Honestly, did think Throw was a guy, but out of the three I have, I thought th I thought Throw would be a guy. Honestly, I know Tippy isn't. Hmm. Chapter four one, eh. Chapter four three, eh. Chapter four two, eh. Chapter four four was just mind fuck. Chapter one was my favorite. Out Chapter four one was my favorite out of all of them because you couldn't enter it straight away. Mimi. Stop pretending to be me. Everyone knows you are Mimi. Come on, friends. Attack. We can drive her back. What is this you talk about? You're the thinker and the lout. Don't be fooled by her. I get her now. Attack. It's me, the real Merli. No, it's me, the true Merli. Look at us very closely. One of us has real beauty in the and one is fake as can be. Hang on, dude. I have enough water. All right. I'm gonna put some water boiling if you hear it in the background. <clears throat> Look at us very close. Look at us very closely. One of us has real beauty and one is fake as can be. Oh, please, you make me gag. I am hot and no need to brag. And you, well, you are a hag. Girl, what a fib. Girl, what a fib maker. You are such a fake figure. Oh, now come off it, dear. You are a dog from ear to ear. And your breath reeks, I fear. Big pig. Chow cow. <clears throat> I know how to tell which one's which, but I am, um, I'm doing Merle's voice regular and I'm doing Mimi, Mimi one in a higher pitch. This is going nowhere. See, let us pick, let us pick a Merle and settle it. Do you agree? Sounds like a good thought because I'm the real me hot and you are, and you really are not. <laughs> oh, how much do you amuse? You're a fake, you will lose. <laughs> you're fake, you stupid fake. We all know you're the snake. It's on, Khan. It's the 66th annual That's My Merly Show. How are you all folks doing? 
Oh, let's get going. You're gonna ask these two Merleys a total of five questions. Listen closely to those answers, because at the end, you're gonna pick the real one. Oh, but that's not all. Pick wrong, and there could be some disastrous results. Now, for our first question. Oh, I put what's your birthday on accident. Let's make with the asking. Drum roll, please. When is your birthday? What day did I arrive? Oh yes, March day twenty-five. I bloomed them. I bloomed in May. The fifth was the day. Oh, very interesting. Now for the next question. All right, I'll let y'all pick this one though. I'll let each, anyone that um, answers, uh, first come, first serve, though. First come, first serve with answers. And I'll try and make it only one person answering at a time. Animal? All right. I'll let you all see it, though, for for uh, anyone who wants to chime in with a question to ask. I mean, it doesn't matter. What a cute question. What is your favorite kind of animal? A little bear can be just as cute as can be. An adorable little demon all sweating and steaming. I, obviously, you can tell who's which one's which by, based off the answers, kind of. But there's also a signature getaway at the end that, as we can all tell, the fly flying around her. Oh, indeed, indeed. Time for another question. Animal? You, you can't say animal twice. Pick different ones. And as soon as I see the next answer, I'm the next answer. I'm not gonna pick it. I'll pick it after, but I'm just gonna hit stop next time. Someone comments. And this question might stir up some childhood trauma. What was your nickname as a kid? Wow. It's not a name to boast, but I was the bashful ghost. Not to go and make a fuss, but I was the odd perp porpoise. Oh, whoa, what do you know? Next question, please. Hey, your choice does matter. You get different dialogue situations. What? Oh, this one's about hobbies. What are you into lately? Catalogs for crystal balls, that's where my interest falls. I like watching rerun shows of Super Ultra Goomba Bros. If you look at the other one on the um, left, you can start to see the fly around. I didn't notice it before, honestly, until it's starting to appear now. Now, time for a final question, folks. It's Simon. What will it be? All right, Lily's question in final. We all like to know this next one, am I right, fellas? What kind of guy's your type? <laughs> I love them all, see? Nope, no type for me. Oh, how can I share when the guy's right there? She's in the boomers, guys. Well, folks, those were all five questions. So, which one is the real Merle? Search your minds, let's try, I guess. I remember as a kid, I I went up to my TV and I swatted the fly because I thought it was a real fly. Anyway, um, it's obviously this one. I forget what happens when you pick this one, but I don't have to redo this all in case if it's a game over. So if y'all remember in the comments, just say it in the chat. Are you sure about the folks thinking hard? Well, enough suspense. Let's see if you picked. Is the real Merle a fateful moment, folks? I'm on pins and needles. Ding! Correct! <laughs> well, of course, obviously, no one could copy me. Stupid heads. I'm gonna make them perfectly, you know it. I guess I'll congratulate you by tearing you little bit like gift confetti. I 
I just like how she just starts turning her head and then just <laughs> breaks it. Okay, I think what Color Splash is like being hated on for is m a whole lot of it's not the original Paper Mario. It doesn't have partners and stuff. And I'm like, I think it works perfectly fine for a game in its own. It's the same reason people hated Banjo. I think people hated Banjo and Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, honestly. No, it is not a typical Banjo Kazooie game. But I th I played through it. I didn't no, I didn't beat it all the way through, but I the majority of the game I did play, it was I loved it. I liked it. The building cars was kind of, you know, weird to get a handle on first but worked out great in the end for me all right before i keep going let me pour this uh, hot water into my cup real quick <sighs> yes you heard me correct by the way i said hot water i have a weird obsession all right it's good for you it's good for you at the same time bad it has its ups and downs, kind of like um, cold shower versus hot shower. <clears throat> I would cheer from over here, rah rah, whooshing ba, hit her in the knee if she has one, does she? Yes, they wanted it after it, but at the same time, I think Sticker Star would have been better if it hadn't been it, the next paper mario game would have been more well received if it hadn't been on the 3ds <laughs> she's a fast one isn't she oh golly well whatever i'll finish you off first <laughs> anyway so yeah she's um powerful uh you can use peach i'm not i'm not gonna be using peach what you're supposed to do is Ah, uh, if I can aim. Wow. God, I'm not usually this bad at this fight. There we go. Hit her. And that stuns her. Ra ra whoosh big pa. You can hit her, dear. For this is no normal cheer. This cheer is magic woo. Her magic barrier is through. What? When did this happen? I feel completely naked. How could you? No. What you're supposed to do is get rid of all her legs. Damage her when she's on the ground and... It'll happen. What did you want me to stop, though, by the way? Milk has made him melt. Wait, 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 wait. Well, I, I, miss, I miss something here. I'm just reading the chat real quick. I miss something very important here, apparently. About we being made into milk. Hey, level up! And I didn't even mean to shake the Wiimote, by the way, but... But uh, how could you? It's impossible! <laughs> Don't think he beat me. Forget dummies. Next time you'll be... Sorry. Remember that. Huh? Yeah, I know you could, but eh. Fine job on that maybe yes, the pure heart's safe, evil was repressed. Huh? You know the tenants here guarded it for fifteen hundred years, waiting for you to draw near. 
Finally, the duty's done. I am ecstatic for one. But wait, uh, we finish off. I must tell you something, yup. So the light Bernosticus was read by you, yes? It was written that, that there that I and my ancestors waited by, the pure heart staying spry. But something wasn't written there, and of it you must be aware. There is another prophecy. A heart of chaos can only be beaten by four of mystery. For heroes unite, their hope burns forth light to shatter the walls of blight. That is, that is how despair it dies. Such is what we prophesize here in the home of the wise. Four heroes? Oh, I am sure the pair of you, Mario and Peach, you too are the first of heroes true. So then it falls to you that the other heroes too. I... I would guess if I had if if I had to that others might be known to you. Now finally let me be, I hereby do my sworn duty. There from me it parts he, he, here heroes up your heart. Please, please stop talking about melting wheeze. Alright. End of chapter here. I'm gonna take a short little break. I have to um, empty little latrine, if you catch my drift. I will leave it here for now. But, um, yeah, I'm be right back. Hello! Yes, another uh, booty call of Jello. But no, nah, um, I'm still shocked to have eight viewers. Honestly, the last time I did it, I had like five and it dropped down to like one. But Count Black's servant Mimi had laid nasty, nasty trap of Mario for Mario and friends. But with the help of Merle, Merle, faithful defender of the pure heart, the day was won. But who were the other two heroes mentioned by Merle? With five pure hearts yet to be found, Mario knew the adventure had only begun. Do you want to save your progress? Yes! Saving, please do not turn off the power. Save complete. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, yeah, so I just got the brief memo from Mimi, and uh, it says I messed up bad. That's the message in its entirety, yeah. <laughs> she failed to please him. Even with my gift of power, I like Pronosticus hero. Descendants of the ancient tribe, their strength grows. Count Black! <coughs> uh, Binky, give me the honor of wailing on this punk and every family. I swear on my whiskers that I'll sprinkle them like naughty little gerbils I will. Oh, so much chunks, yeah. You, you think you're all set to go? So I guess you finished that report on your own inadequacy that I needed. Yes, I just got we believe your way on me conclusion. You gotta give me a bring me right into time last in a hundred dollars pigs be a lot. No junk's come yourself. Take him take a minion time out, the Count Black will send. Dimensio, come to me, Count Black. <laughs> and so I arrive, like a sudden windstorm at a kindergarten picnic. <laughs> you like some playtime, I imagine, Dementio. Ah, so you shall have it. But do not disappoint, Count Black. Dispatch this hero. 
<laughs> Which is my command. Besides, this fool sounds like an amusing challenge. Now, there's nothing else. I'll just be on my way. Ciao, my count. Yes, so all junks can you fill me in on what you are not writing in that report? Go, you great big tweaker. Big tweaker. Count, let me bring. Let me just bring you up to speed on the current state of the castle. I start to root out a few unconverted rogues, but I will report back soon. Wee! Here. Trying to save this pathetic old world's black, says Count Black. <laughs> the efforts are in vain. No one can stop Count Black. I mean, just as no one can ease the tempest that rages in my suffering heart. Ow, my head. Luigi. It's Luigi time! Hey, where am I? Oh! Oh, yeah, I know I remember. I was saving Princess Peach, but I screwed it up then. You white cream! You white cream! Yeah, hey, uh, bad, hey there, uh, bad guys. You doing alright? Uh, yeah! Yeah, we're doing okay. Uh, good to see you made it. Figuring it was done doing those tarling looks. So yeah, kinda kinda awkward. Uh, say, say, have you guys seen the princess and Bowser? Uh, nope, not so much. You're the only one we found laying around here. Hopefully they're both okay. Curls about his friend. It seems frozen. Ugh, I hate. It's it's most likely not my part anymore though. Like I haven't been getting issues so far this stream, besides the sudden influx of y'all. Oh, hang on. I, this water's my water's still cooling down a little bit too hot for me, but <clears throat> there we go. I'm up. Uh, just grabbing a quick sprite. I'm to see, see if you he can hear it. <coughs> Toll Wrath, welcome back, my friend. How are you doing today, Toll Wrath? Nearest, we can figure most of the other men's got captured or something, and we're probably next. There's this dude so calm, we're behind enemy lines. So, Luigi, old buddy, what do you think about maybe getting out of here? We're thinking maybe you'd open a path for us, and oh, we'll all bail. What you think? Oh, uh, no. no, 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 I got to, I couldn't possibly. I got to see the princess. Man, I did not expect that. All this is stories about Great Luigi's daring exploits, and we heard you were the defender of the helpless. We have no one else. What? Luigi? The Great Luigi, you say? A daring defender? Me? Oh, then I've got no choice. Luigi must spring into action. My fans need me. Oh, you are the best. Man, that was way too easy. What a sucker. <laughs> We're right behind you. By the second, by the, but the second this gets rough, we bail. Then follow me, brave Goombas. Here we go. And Luigi, you can fuck around with him. This is his. Oh, you can't use his power. No, I'm not opening a can of hot water. Hmm. My throat just hurt, and I'm doing voices. I need my throat. <clears throat> if only I had some chloroseptic spray. Anyway, it's the same as the peach segment in the last chapter, really. You just keep running. Great Luigi, wait for us. <clears throat> the Goomba's voices have changed every single time. Same with Luigi's ish, but. Uh oh, looks like it's the end of the line here. Oh boy. Oh boy, <laughs> looks like you're right. Now what do we do? 
Oh, shouldn't we look for another way out, maybe? This guy's you. This guy's useless. If we stay put, somebody's definitely gonna spot. <laughs> Hail Black! Gary, no! Gary, no! I've been looking for you all over. I've been looking all over for you. You! You! Yeah, you're the guy who really was a team player back in the morning. You're gonna need a little disciplinary action, I think. So let's get started, hmm? Huh? Oh man, poor Gary. Alright, it's time for me to Goomba up. Hey lady, got room for another one, for one more on your team? What? Hey, wait a second, what are you doing? Shit. Alright, it's good, never mind. What's it like, genius? I'm getting with the winning team. Yeah, good call. Love the enthusiasm there. Go ahead and swear you're in, you know, undying loyalty to the count and you're on the board. Oh, hey, count me in, lady. Here we go. Count here. Here we go. Love the count. 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 Can I get a C? O. U. N. T. Count. But, yeah. B. <laughs> I just came up with that off the top of my head, man. But yes, um, quick moment of silence for Gary. And fuck him. You, you dirty traitor. <laughs> Our guy's new agenda. Hold this fool down so I can get his priorities on track. Yes, ma'am. Awakuhi, <laughs> Mario. Mario. I don't know why I do it like y'all can see me. I wear glasses, so I do it. I do the little thing with her, like, ding. You're late. Did something happen? Oh. You're late. Did something happen? Yes, my father caught me. Sneaking out of the castle wasn't easy after that. I was worried. I was worried you wouldn't come. You're a strange girl. You know what I'm. You, you know what I am, and yet you, you don't seem afraid. I don't care what you are. I just wanted to see you. Is is, is that so wrong? No, 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 of course not. I, just, I wanted to see you too. Blue me air. Blue me air. Do you mind if I sit next to you? Please do, Tiffany. Let's return to our conversation. I must know more of you. Uh, Tiffany. Gary's the best Goomba. 10 out of 10. Hang on. I, I spilled the 